Welcome back to my channel guys. In this video, I want to show us the easiest way to solve this simultaneous equation solution. Right, so we are going to use identity for sum of cubes for this first equation, this equation one. Right, so using identity for sum of cubes. Right, so it means when we have x plus y raised to power 3, it will be s cubed plus 3x square y plus 3x y square plus y cube. Right, that is sum of cubes. We can also use Pascal triangle to find the coefficients of all these numbers here. Right, in the Pascal triangle, we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. Right, and then this is when you have the number raised to power 0, this is when you have the number raised to power 1, this is when you have the number raised to power 2, and this is when you have it raised to power 3. So, as we have it in this place, you know, we have x plus y raised to power 3. So, we expect the coefficients of these variables to the 1, 3, 3, 1, which we have here. Right here, we have 1, we have 3 here, we have 3 here, and we have 1 here. All right, so let's try and simplify this. We have x plus y cube, because let's put s cube and y cube together, s cube plus y cube, then we have 3x square y plus 3x y square. Okay, from here, we can put this together and also we can factorize this, we can bring out what is common here. Okay, so I'm going to bring this to that side. Or let's do it this way, x plus y cube equals to s cube plus y cube. Then what is common here? 3xy is common and I have x plus y. By the time you open this bracket, you have this. Right, because 3xy times x will give you 3x square y, and 3xy times y will give you 3xy square. Alright, we can take the whole of this to that side. So we have x cubed plus y cubed will be equal to x plus y cubed minus, by the time we take this to that side, 3xy x plus y. Alright, from here we can recall. You can recall that s cube plus y cube is 35. That gives our equation 1. And also x plus y equals to 5. That gives our equation 2. So it means anywhere we see s cube plus y cube, we can write 35. And anywhere we see x plus y, we can write 5. Okay, from here now we have s cube plus y cube. That is 35. This is 35. Equals to x plus y. What is x plus y? It's 5. That will be 5 raised to power 3 minus 3xy. Now, what is x plus y? x plus y is 5. We write it. So we have 35 equals to 5 raised to power 3 is 125. That is 5 times 5 times 5 minus 3xy. Okay, times 5. That will actually give us 15. Okay, so we do 35, we can bring this one here, becomes minus 125 equals to, we multiply this, it becomes minus 15xy. 35 minus 125 gives minus 90, so minus 90 equals to minus 15xy. Now, we divide both sides by minus 15, it means xy equals to minus 90 divided by minus 15. And that means that our xy equals to minus 15 year 1 minus 15 year 6. And that's our final answer. xy is equals to 6. All right. So that's what the question asks us to find. You can see here, the question says you should find xy. And we have calculated what xy is. xy equals to 6. All right. So let's try. Let's try this question uh, let's solve 
x raised to the power 3 plus y raised to the power 3 equals to 181 and x plus y equals to 9. All right, so let's solve this and write our answer in the comment section. Okay, guys, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please and please do subscribe. See you next time.